Hello, everyone. Today we're going to read the Crunching Munching Caterpillar, written by Sheridan Kane and Jack Tickle, published by Little Tiger Press, London. Caterpillar was always hungry. For weeks. He crunched and munched his way through the fresh, juicy leaves of a blackberry bush. One day, Caterpillar was about to crunch into another leaf when crunch, crunch, munch, munch. Zzz. Bzzz. Bumblebee landed beside him. Wow, said Caterpillar. How did you get here? Simple, said Bumblebee. I have wings. Look. Oh, I'd like some of. Those said Caterpillar. Bumblebee flew up into the air and buzzed busily from flower to flower. Bzzz, bzzz. I'd love to fly like that," said Caterpillar. "Well, you can't," said Bumblebee. "I've got wings." You've got legs. Your legs are for walking. I guess so," sighed Caterpillar. Bumblebee flew off to the next bush. Watching Bumblebee fly had made Caterpillar very hungry, so he crunched and he munched. Until it was time for bed, crunch, munch, crunch, munch. Oh! Caterpillar woke to the sound of twittering. Birds swooped and soared in the early morning light. Caterpillar was just about to start his breakfast. When a sparrow landed beside him, I'd love to fly in the air like that," said Caterpillar. "Well, you can't," said Sparrow. "You need to be as light as the dandelion clock that floats on the breeze." You're far too fat to fly. Your legs are for walking. I guess so," said Caterpillar glumly. Caterpillar carried on crunching, munching all day, until the light began to dim. Crunch, munch, crunch, munch. He wrapped a leaf around himself to keep warm. He was just about to go to sleep when butterfly landed gracefully beside him. Oh, I wish I could fly like you," sighed Caterpillar. But. I'm too fat. I have legs instead of wings. Butterfly smiled a secret, knowing smile. Who knows? Perhaps one day you will fly, light as a feather, like me," she said. But now, little caterpillar, you should. Go to sleep. You look very tired. 
Butterfly was right. Caterpillar suddenly felt very sleepy as Butterfly flew off into the night sky. He fell into a deep, deep sleep. Caterpillar slept all through the winter and his sleep was filled with dreams. He dreamt he had wings and was soaring to the blue sky above the tall trees. He dreamt he was a dandelion clock drifting through the sun. He dreamt he was as light as a feather floating on the breeze. When Caterpillar woke up, he felt the warmth of the spring sun. He was stiff from his long sleep, but he did not feel very hungry. He stretched and stretched. And a breeze lifted Caterpillar into the air. He was no longer short and plump. He had wings, great, big, wonderful, Butterfly wings! Wow! said young butterfly. I'm flying! I'm really flying! And that's the end of story time. Don't forget to subscribe today to English Lessons Online. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.